In this video, we look at uh, the new features and feature updates in Camtasia for Windows, uh, the 2022 5.0 version, that is as of February 2023. So uh, basically we have a couple of new things. For example, new features here, we have transitions. They've added six new hearted theme transitions with configurable properties, just in time to show your viewers the love. This is for uh, kind of Valentine themed uh, transitions, and this is highly welcome. And if you actually uh, pop over right here uh, and you add maybe some media or whatever uh, let's keep it at that uh, let's say you go to transitions and then I just uh, typed in here hat so we have the six uh, themed and you can actually just add them there make adjustments if you'd like to change the colors ADC if you play this that is what you get uh, highly welcome especially during this Valentine season. Uh, so that is one of the few uh, things that you'll see. And then in addition to quickly launching Camtasia's recorder, now Audiate, that is another Camtasia or TechSmith product uh, to quickly transcribe and cut off a couple of uh, mistakes as ums etc. Uh, you can now, uh, the Audiate and Snagit recorders can be launched directly from the Camtasia editor. Uh, so we've actually open this up. You'll see there's a new record button here. There's a ribbon of sorts, Camtasia, new Camtasia recording. Uh, you can install Audit if you don't have it, and you can capture a new image, uh, Snagit image, Control Alt S etc. So uh, these have been launched. Highly welcome. If you are usually in that e ecosystem, that is going to be uh, coming handy. Uh, next up. We've got a couple of feature updates. Uh, people have always uh, requested for uh, dimension presets, especially if you're doing recordings of uh, vertical, horizontal, square videos. Normally, uh, the horizontal videos, uh, landscape kind of views, uh, that was not an issue. Uh, but now, uh, let's say we go here. Uh, let's click on record. It's going to uh, bring out, okay, sorry. I'm using the recorder right now, so it might not actually do that. So uh, what is going to happen, uh, the shortcuts will be conflicting a little bit, but I will not record anything. So you can see that we're doing 1920 by 1080. But if you click on this drop down, you now have presets for horizontal, add, uh, AD, SD, HD, FHD, 2K, QHD, 4K, UHD. And then we've got small or the square, small, large, and then vertical, small, large, uh, FHD. Highly welcome uh, to have these presets ready to go. Click on any preset and actually adjust this to what you want it to be. Uh, 1080 by 1920. Let's go for the small. Uh, looks like that, but you may not really see it right now on screen uh, because of uh, the different options or probably there could be a bug. I think there could be a bug because you should be able to see the outline here. Let's see horizontal. Yeah, I think there could be a bug of sorts because uh, the way they are appearing, uh, this looks like the lower end of it. Yeah, it looks like it ap it's appearing up there. Uh, and that's why we're not getting to see it. Could be a bug, if I'm not mistaken. For example, this section should not be there. Uh, if we actually bring this down, let's see if we're going to see any change. Could be a bug. Uh, definitely that could be a bug. Uh, but simply put, we now have the presets right here for you to choose uh, what you want to do. So that is highly welcome. Next up, uh, we've got an update for Lotti files. They've added the ability to adjust solid colors and uh, color fields and strokes of Lotti media on the timeline. And I have a media on the timeline that is a Lotti file, uh, this particular file right here. So uh, with Lotti files, you can actually scale them, ATC. Uh, and if you actually play this, is what it looks like. So if you click on this, let's actually just move this to the side a little bit. Uh, you can see that uh, we've got some colors here. You can change the colors, change that to whatever you want. Uh, let's say we change this one as well. Uh, it changes this one and then we go for this one. Let's say maybe we go for uh, a yellow and then we go for this one. You can actually go for Go for whatever color that you want, let's say that. So uh, when you look at this, I'll play it. You've already changed the colors. 
uh, for uh, the different uh, colors available for that particular lottie file so that's highly welcome uh, and then uh, added uh, on the canvas center anchor context menu option to reset position of a media's anchor point to its default uh, and then we've got uh, added ability to constrain media along vertical or horizontal axis when dragging on the canvas by holding down shift while performing the drag operation so for example let's say you want to constrain uh, to this uh, horizontal so if you actually press on shift even if you go up it will not go up it is constrained to that horizontal movement so that is also highly welcome uh, completely revamped uh, project dimension presets support horizontal vertical resolutions uh, context uh, click anywhere on the canvas and choose project settings and use the dimensions drop down to choose the, de the desired video dimension so when you're in here you can actually right click project settings and then you can choose whatever you want uh, right here we have uh, the horizontal to correspond to what we want the square the vertical ADC it really depends on what uh, video you're working on uh, the dimensions that you're working on that's highly welcome as well uh, what else cursors uh, we've got a couple of new things for the cursors uh, there's now the ability uh, to add custom cursor images so added ability to import custom cursor images that can replace cursors in a Camtasia screen recording or when using the cursor path create a visual effect so you can use that for either of those added the ability to set custom cursors anchor points position during the properties using the proper the properties panel uh, cursor crosshairs ui or input fields added the ability to edit previously imported cursors via the properties panel added the ability to replace an existing cursor with a blank cursor no need to add animation and adjust opacity in order to hide cursor just use cursor image replace panel and choose the blank cursor so highly welcome as well uh, enhanced cursor path simplification algorithm to to account for the position of recorded click events highly welcome so let's go to cursors i've got a screen recording here and if you go to cursors actually the minute you do that you'll notice that we have cursors here and when you hover over each you see what cursor you're actually dealing with for the different uh, location where the cursors are available uh, but when you come here if you click on this particular drop down you can now add custom cursors so you can add import an image to use a custom as a custom cursor etc this is something that you are actually going to have to play around with and see what works best with your branding whatever you're working on so that's also highly welcome and uh, probably uh, we've got uh, the export uh, added automatic remember last year's settings to the modern export experience settings are saved across sessions so that is highly welcome and added the ability to create and save presets to the modern export experience so this is highly welcome because initially uh, if you create videos uh, like tutorial videos using the same dimensions uh, remember it was not possible to save your preferred or desired presets or uh, in uh, Camtasia 2022 so uh, if I come here let's go to export local file this is a modern experience uh, now you'll notice that let's assume it was like this if I click on that uh, it sends that I was doing some custom edits so uh, it saves that automatically uh, but now you can add your own presets if you click on this uh, but what you need to do first because before you actually save that is set the dimensions you want uh, You can choose whatever project dimension that you want here the encoding you can set use GP, uh, GPU encoding uh, the frame rate uh, Let's go with like 30 because that's what we're working with uh, for the project 30 and then we go to audio uh, Looks good. There's nothing to change there encoding looks good there dimensions look good and then if you want to save this as a custom click on this plus and then let's call it tutorial because it's for maybe tutorial videos let's say HD click OK so that's the preset we have so every other time we have that I'm not sure it's defaulting to, th to 60 FPS even after I've done uh, that particular change audio and then click on export if you're satisfied so uh, that is what it looks like uh, anytime so shall cancel and then go to export local file just come here 
tutorial HD. It uh, picks up uh, your settings, etc. And then once you're done, click on export. So we'll make life easier and all that. Uh, anything else? Uh, tools. Change the order of tools. Um, appear in the left hand tools panel and remove interactivity item from tools. Interactive items can still be added using the timeline quiz track. I believe this could be this particular section. I believe that is what was removed, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think so. And I think favorites have been brought up up here. Uh, but uh, those are some of the few things that are new. Uh, and obviously some bug fixes right here. ETC. So we've got a, a ton of things. Uh, it's now uh, possible to uh, have uh, presets available for recording. Uh, that is horizontal, vertical, square. And then we've got, uh, uh, you can now start uh, the Audiate or Snagit recorders uh, straight from uh, the Camtasia, Camtasia editor. And then we've got uh, the Lodi files. You can change solid colors and strokes on the Lodi media on the timeline. And then we've got uh, the canvas, obviously. And then we've got the cursors. And uh, we also have the export where you can create and save presets to the modern export experience. So. All those are highly welcome. Uh, that's it for this video. And that's just what's new, the new features and the new feature updates in Camtasia for Windows 2022.5.0. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.